I'd rather die at home, thank you. You're not dying. Nor am I thriving under hospital care. You're all right now. Your vitals well, are safe. For how long no. in this pit of incompetence? Joe, I was a breath away from a body bag, and nobody seems to know why. We're trying to establish why and find out what happened. I walked in here on my own two feet. I don't want to go out on a slab. Dad, they're trying to figure out what went wrong. Well, fine. When they find out, let me know. I'll be at home. Adam, Adam, we need your cooperation. I'll cooperate by phone. Dad, listen, you can't just get up and walk out of here. You checked in for a reason. Yes, and I'm checking out for a much better reason. Adam, you had a very, very serious episode. We need to hone in on the cause. Oh, hone to your heart's content, but do it without me. I'm getting out while I still can. No, you're, you're being very foolish, Adam. Oh, Dad, just a few questions. What could it hurt? What, what, did I see a bright light? Was there a band of angels? Maybe a, a chorus of the dearly departed? No, to all of the above. Does that cover it? All right, just one question, Adam. Before this last episode, can you remember who administered your medication? How should I know? Don't you keep records? Your last doctor, the last nurse, whatever. Are you telling me that you rely on your patients to keep track of administrative details? Think. What was the last face? Who did it belong to that you can remember? The angel of death. That's who it belonged to. Jake. It was Jake. What does that tell you? That I had a toxic reaction to your son? Jake. Jake, have you told your father yet? No, he's still in with Adam. Okay, listen to me. I think we've got to tell him. There's nothing to tell. How about David gave, gave Adam the Norman? We can't prove that. Well, there's no doubt about it. My mind or yours. Yes, I know. We just, we can't tip our hand just yet. we got to wait till we have something solid. We have no time. David is completely out of I control. Know. Then that's my, that's my point. Just let him slip up. We can't let on to him that we know anything. Dr. Hayward. Doctor? Doctor? Yesterday, the Chandler debacle. We could have had an inquest on our hands. Not to mention a corpse. That's right. We were just saying how last night was a wake-up call. And uh, we shouldn't get too complacent around here, right? Because contrary to public opinion, hospital can be a very dangerous place. My feelings exactly, hmm. which is why I had to alert the staff. Your mistake almost cost a man's life. No mistake on my part. Then how do you explain what happened? <clears throat> we have a lot to work through, you know. Say you'll try. Don't you know that we're connected? We have been ever since that terrible night. Brooke, that night when I saw you, something inside me, I, I, I don't know. I, I needed to survive. And you saved us. And Maddie. But I should be the one on the bottom of the ocean. Don't say that. No, Maria Santos should be here. But I can't change that. There's nothing that I can do. I can't go back. There's nothing about you that I can't handle. Well, I hope that's true. I hope like hell. I may as well get this out of the way. Well, what's wrong? I did something that you may not like, but I did it because I believed it was for the best. So just tell me. My camera bag. I torched it. All right, I'm going. Why is Joe suddenly acting like Sherlock Holmes? What does he know that I don't? Lots. He's chief of staff. You never even took CPR. Uh, the, the nurses are all tiptoeing around, talking behind my back, just out of earshot. They know something that I don't, and it relates directly to me. Dad, you have a galloping case of paranoia. No, don't you, don't you even start that. You're withholding something. What did they tell you? Come on, out with it. They're very clear on the fact that you should chill. I loathe being managed. Oh, well, now you know how the rest of us feel. Oh, fine. Fine, recite my litany of sins. Find comfort for an ailing man. Dad, you're going to be okay. You just need to relax. Relax? <laughs> Ignorance is not synonymous with bliss. No, I'm glad to hear you finally admit that. Come on now. Tell me about your hallucinations. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Dr. Shimatori filled me in. No, he did, did he? Well, I'm up to my eyeballs in stress. That's hardly news. I'm having nightmares that interfere with my sleep. You checked yourself into a hospital over nightmares? Yes, to, to catch up on some much-needed sleep. Little did I know I was signing on for the eternal rest. <laughs> Dad, you're going to be around for a long, long time. Yeah, you just want me here so you can mistreat me. Yes, that's it. How may I mistreat you this morning? Some hot cocoa, some yeah. herbal tea? Yuck. How about a Wall Street Herald? How about a novel? How about a coloring book? Fine, I'll get you the Herald. Yeah. If you can find the latest issue of Acquisition, and don't come back here with a tract on yoga. Oh, uh, before you go in. Well, he's okay, isn't yeah, he? Yes, There's yeah. nothing I wrong. need to have a nothing word with more? him. No, no, he's all right. We're keeping close tabs on him. Try not to worry. Adam Chandler's chart, please. Listen, my father keeps asking questions, and I don't know what to say. Say nothing until we know all the facts. Are you telling me that Jake's not responsible? No, negligence has nothing to do with it. It, it was attempted murder. That's what it was. Joe, your son is an assassin, and you are an accessory after the fact. We don't know the facts. Are you waiting for my autopsy? Is that it? You're being closely monitored. By your son? Dr. Death? Adam, you must relax. Re relax? You want me to relax, Adam, Joe? Adam, this is not good for your blood pressure. Neither is dying. Just going to make you sick. Talk about blaming the victim. All right, just deep breaths, Adam. Please. No, 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 no. I, I'm not going to let you make me the scapegoat. No. Adam, Adam, you must try. I need a 24-hour armed guard here. I would like to see you alone. Don't let him inject you with anything. Dr. Haywood. Excuse me. If, if you don't come back, I'll alert the authorities. You're not going to sweep this under the rug, Joe. What I'm about to say, it can't go any further. Okay, well, what is this about? It's about Flight 149, about the plastic explosives. All right, you got my attention. You have to promise me first. You can't say anything to anyone. Sure, I mean, except for Haley. Especially no, not Haley. Listen, listen Brooke, I, we've got this full disclosure. What Haley I... doesn't know can't hurt her. And the more you say, the more danger to your wife. Do you really want to take that risk? No. My life has been meaningless without you. I... Shh, shh, please, don't speak. Don't make a sound. My life is on the line here. Who are you? I'm, I'm a dead man if you don't pretend I'm your lover. You have to know that this could be dangerous to all of us. I need you to keep cool. You can't do anything rash. All right? Because we need definitive proof. Of who brought this plane down? Yes. And if we move carefully, I think we might get it. Yeah. Oh, fine. I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. We'll... Okay. The, the luggage fragment that had traces of the explosives on it. I know whose bag it was. Whose? Jim Thomason. What? He said he made a phone call before he checked in. That he turned his back on his luggage for about ten minutes. Oh my God, what the hell is going on here? This is not a motel. This is not a drive-in. This is not the tunnel of love. Oh, Miss Colby, and if this flamboyant of behavior of yours is trying to get another job back in television, no, you can I forget wasn't it. Trying to get and it. if you have entered into a new profession, please don't tell me about it. And please take it outside of Mr. Lavery. Please get back to work. You know this man? Ryan Lavery. He's in sales. These are the projections you need to look at. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Well, tell Monsieur Laval to make something else. What, do you think I care? I... I'll be right there. Ryan, yeah. please look at the projections. Yeah. And you, 
Please don't be here when I get back. You came right straight from work? Yeah. How's Liza? <laughs> no. No, Uncle Adam, I am not a go-between, okay? No messages, no reports. I just want to know if Liza is well. She's my wife. Was. Is. The separation is senseless. I want it to stop. I consider Liza my friend. So, let's start over. How do you feel? I feel a lot better when they find these dolls finally admit that Dr. Martin tried to kill me. First, stealing a kiss and then wanting to know my name. And your phone number. You know what happened to the last person who stole a kiss from me? Fell hopelessly in love with her. I cut it off. Whoa. Okay. You are dangerous. With Among many, many other things. Which, of course, you'll never know. What's your name? You'll have no need of knowing it. Well, I see the trash has been picked up. Why are you on her case? Why were you kissing her? Why not? I mean, you see a delicious apple, you eat the apple, right? Look, as long as I'm getting my work done here, does it really matter? Well, Look, you do what you do. You just don't do it in my office. What is that? This is a fashion statement. Do you like it? No, I actually don't. I think you should try to keep your clothes in one piece. You'd look better. Okay. You seem remarkably calm. Considering? Your husband's medical emergency? Or was he faking it? No, it was legitimate this time. So everything's going to be okay? Well, the doctors predict a swift recovery. That's good news. Yeah. Listen, thank you for asking about him, and thank you for nudging me to go and see him. Hi. Hey, did the mushroom problem get solved? Yeah, I hope so. Well, I'm off to call her some more advertisers. Yeah, just stay clear of Francois. He's a little peeved. <laughs> so tell me, tell me about the hospital. Well, that went fine, but uh, Uncle Adam's another story. He didn't have a relapse, did he? Eliza, he's got fire in his eyes and vengeance in his heart. He's organizing a posse to lynch Jake Martin as we speak. What? He's convinced Jake tried to murder him. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs>